Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're wearing scalp sensors in space, pouring drinks with one-armed robotic bartenders, flying a scorpion prototype, and dancing between a designer's dream and an engineer's nightmare. Jose Luis Contreras Vidal is a professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of Houston Cullen College of Engineering. Contreras Vidal has developed algorithms that read electrical activity in the brain and translate it into movements. You may remember his Rehab Rex, the robotic exoskeleton that has helped people with spinal cord injuries stand upright and even walk. For his latest project, Contreras Vidal collaborated with NASA engineers who want to address muscle atrophy and other health risks astronauts face during long duration space travel, like to Mars, a red planet. It's awesome. Everyone wants to go to Mars. Want to go to Mars? Yeah. The X1 exoskeleton was jointly designed by NASA in the Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition. NASA is interested in its potential as an exercise tool for crew members, both at the International Space Station and on future long duration space flights. Because you can only read so many books on the way to the Red Planet before your muscles wither and die. Contreras Vidal thinks that the X-1 could even have the ability to measure and send data back to flight controllers, providing information on how the flight is affecting astronaut health. The brain-machine interface technology works by interpreting brain waves that allow patients to control the robotic legs with their thoughts. Right now, the research team records brain signals with a skull cap fitted with electrode sensors. It avoids the need for implanting electrodes under a patient's scalp because, well, because that would be horrifying. Apparently there are a lot of challenges that bartenders have to master when serving their customers and this kind of data is important to a University of Bielefeld research team who is trying to develop a bartending robot. The robot, JAMES, which stands for Joint Action and Multimodal Embedded Systems, features a tablet computer head that displays big comic style eyes that help establish eye contact with customers. Because you know, big comic style eyes? are not creepy at all. His torso is comprised of a one-armed metal body and he has a four-fingered hand that serves drinks to customers once they have placed their order. The project aims at advancing technologies such that James can display socially intelligent behavior that humans take for granted in daily life. James should be able to understand users who have no prior knowledge about the robot and who have not been briefed in any way. In the noisy environment of a nightclub, the system cannot rely on its language components only. Thus, the robot learns how to interpret body language. Textron Airland has unveiled its Scorpion prototype, a versatile intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance strike aircraft platform. It is an all-composite airframe powered by twin turbofan engines with a tandem cockpit, retractable sensor mounts, internal payload bay, and an external stores carriage for precision and non-precision munitions. Its modular architecture allows unencumbered future integration of multiple sensors and weapons, minimizing non-recurring expenses. The demonstration aircraft is now in test phase, with its first flight scheduled before the end of 2013. It's a rapid schedule by any measure of military jet development, particularly when you consider that the work started in early January 2012. The aircraft is also designed to be the world's most affordable tactical jet, capable of performing lower threat battlefield and homeland security missions. According to Textron Chairman and CEO Scott Donnelly, the company relied on commercial best practices to develop a tactical jet platform with flexibility and capabilities found only in more costly aircraft. The Scorpion is built to accommodate the increasingly stringent budget constraints of the U.S. Department of Defense, and the design is well matched to the Air National Guard's missions, such as irregular warfare, border patrol, maritime surveillance, emergency relief, counter-narcotics, and air defense operations. Phone Blocks is a design concept from Dutch designer Dave Hawkins. The concept presents a new take on cell phone structure and presents a modular design that has some potential. The issue Hawkins is trying to overcome is based on the idea that most of our cell phones have a life cycle of only two years.
or less if you have an iPhone. The idea behind phone blocks is that you can replace any given component at any time, whether there's an upgrade or part breaks. This also gives freedom to those that are into customization. For instance, if you do more stuff in the cloud, the storage module on the phone can be minimized or swapped out completely for a bigger battery or a nicer camera. Now, this is currently just a concept and dances on the knife's edge between a designer's dream and an engineer's nightmare, but beyond some of the feasibility issues, this thing is pretty cool. Hawkins is utilizing Thunderclap which is a crowd-speaking platform to push this concept out to the world, as he hopes to get attention from ambitious engineers and designers to help make phone blocks happen. So basically, it's Kickstarter without any actual products or money involved. Cool. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For pd and TV, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.